Now I did have a pair in high school where they're high waisted and they folded down mm-hmm. and they had like little points. I don't understand that fashion. Mm-hmm. I wore it. I have a picture of me somewhere with a pair mm-hmm. of shorts. They're not even jeans or shorts. I'm like, mm-hmm. what was I wearing? And why? <laughs> you ever do that, Dave? You ever look at pictures and go, did I really wear that? And then people actually let me go no, outside you, looking like that? Honestly, and I... <laughs> Honestly, I'm not going to dig into this, So, I'm, I, but I did wear somewhat of these striped pants when I was little. Yeah. They were white and brown, white and brown, and I, I call them the Peter Brady type of Okay, pants. yeah. Because they look like what Peter Brady would actually wear. Right on, kind of. okay. So I was like, okay, that's fine, I don't mind doing that shit, and I was just like, Ugh! but then I, I oh, I cringe. When I find that picture, and I'm not going to show Oh, when, when we were kids. They were cringe. Oh, my. It's like, mm-hmm. what are we wearing? <laughs> it's what probably a fire wearing? hazard, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 no parents smoking in front of us. No telling. <laughs> right. There's no telling. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, there was a lot of things we are embarrassed about with the age. But, goddamn, at least we're admitting it. At least, you know, we're not going to cover it up like... Millennials and Gen Z's and right. like, no, I didn't wear those. I was like, yeah, you didn't. Like, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you did. Well, we're girl. Girl. well, oh, that's the other thing. Girl animals. Yeah. Girl animals are coming back. I was in J C Penney. Was in J C Penney's shopping mm-hmm. with my aunt, and I was like, dude, they have girl animals. I remember getting girl animals at Sears when I was a kid, and they're <laughs> back. <laughs> or like. Forty-five years later, it's ba- why are they bad? They weren't good clothes okay. back then. Why well, are we, here's why are we mad? Oh, I don't know. Here's 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 uh, I'm gonna tell you something about myself that I don't really tell people. But this is what I thought your animals were. Oh no! Ready? Okay. I thought they were graham crackers. <laughs> Not graham. No, they're clothes line for kids. Oh my. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought they were... Uh, somebody said, like, hey, you got any Garanimals on here? And it's like, no, no. Garanimals was, was... It was what it was. It was like, you're you're finally at that age where you can start picking and choosing what to wear to school. Right. So you got to get your outfit. Oh, look. Look at all these. They have a lion on them. They mm-hmm. match all this. Look. This one has a, a monkey on it. Oh, this one has an alligator. So you would mm-hmm. go, okay, match and match, match and match. Mm-hmm. And it was like, hey, I'm a big kid now. I can dress myself. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> nice to talk down that way. Hang on. Uh, we got three more to go. Um, let's see. The next one is for how to dress like the 80s with normal clothes is incorporate 80s prints. Yeah. Now, we're not talking about the, 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 the artists. We're talking about prints. As in <laughs> putting decals and stuff like mm-hmm. that on yourself. Mine was always, you know, Iron Maiden, ACDC. And especially like on a jean You can go wrong with a band shirt. Yeah. Now, now are you going to be that person? Because I... Totally that fucking person. Do you go, hey, um, yeah, got band on your yeah. shirt. Mm-hmm. Name a song. And like Nirvana. Oh, I get them with But besides no, I would besides, never wear Nirvana. No, I never. know That's, you wouldn't. But I'm just no. saying, that person there, you know, do you know that? Do you know any of their songs besides... Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm not like going to put like a button-up striper on there and say, "Oh yeah, I was in the Christian rock." You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's I can name you all wrong. their songs. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just not not my bad. Well, thing. when I heard when I heard that they were Christian rock, I was like, you know, okay, I'll give them some credit, but you know, yeah, don't, don't start talking about Jesus and Paul. And their manager was actually Pat Boone, so FYI, you know. Whoa. Yeah, and if you don't know who Pat Boone is, please, please don't. 
Just Google it. I don't want to go on there. Anymore. Go to Spotify. Mm-hmm. Go to whatever music that you... Just put it in. Just listen to them. Give them a go. Go to All that right. boom. All right. Next, we have experiment with off-the-shoulder tops. Death! <laughs> I don't know anything about this shit. <laughs> off-the-shoulder tops. Man, the little blouses that we wore, the, the mm-hmm. little poet type shirts with the little blousey shirts, man. Mm-hmm. Those little, pi- like the little gypsy pirate shirts. Yeah. Those were like the one movie that made that, both like a bohemian style. Mm-hmm. That was like a real big thing too. Mm-hmm. Probably was the Lost Boys mm-hmm. because of Star. Oh, okay. Which is the first one I think okay. about when yeah thinking okay. about now that style in the about. 80s. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense to mm-hmm. me because now I know that Star was oh Jamie Gertz. Jamie Gertz, yes, yes, yes. Jamie she was also in the Last Starfighter. You send me to 80s trivia. Yes. Yes. Burn. We need to go. We need to go. We need to go to 80s trivia. Yes. Yeah, we need to go. Okay. I will burn to the child. And see, so and this is this is the deal. Is like we have like like my my little my little, and I can't wait. I have like little circles of friends that I haven't met others. It's mm-hmm. it, they're 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 getting closer to meeting. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. But my little circle of friends that you haven't met, we always did trivia. And you know, I did. I actually host trivia for about three four years. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't miss it. But we we have we have our experts on. Certain categories. We have the movie guy, the music guy, um, the the history person. Um, I'm only good in art history if it's you know pretty basic. <laughs> if it's pretty basic, um, but we have a sports guy. So yeah, I can't wait till we go out and actually. Oh yeah, and we will. And, if, and I'll tell you this much: if we do, we'll bring our phones and see if we can film some of it, and I'll try and see. That would be awesome. We're having. Uh, and this is a little bit of a side note. We're, I, I've been trying my best to send a lot of um, uh, X marks the spot over to Devin's TikTok. We're just having a problem with the emails. And I don't want to get any. Yeah. What? So I think you sent one, and I think I got an email like a week. Yeah. Maybe it took a week to get it. Oh, wow. I was like, you could have mailed it if it was. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. You can like snail mail it, and they probably got here sooner. Well, but, uh, <laughs> but I, I, I am trying my best to get our, our, uh, like, even two minutes of a block to over to Devin's TikTok and my TikTok as well, so that we'll let you guys, you know, get a little glimpse. Of I've it. just been sharing yours that you post. Yeah, that's been, and that's cool. That's cool. I like that. Um, last but not least, and I know that Dev has done this, but I don't know if she did it regularly, and that is layer with fishnet tights. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I used to get, like, I would buy fishnet tights in bulk, because, like, not only could you use the fishnets for your legs, but, hey, I got this old pair. Hmm, I'm going to cut the crotch out. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And whoop, voila, a yeah. shirt. Mm-hmm. And sometimes shirt that's all I would wear yeah. with some tape over my titas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which hurt later. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, that's because um, you, had to, you had to take the tape off. You know? but the, <laughs> the nipples are so sensitive. The, so sensitive. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, and then, let's see. I took years and years of dance, so mm-hmm. I had, like, a lot of She is a wild. very good dancer. I have Thank seen her. you. I have seen Dev on the floor. She's really nice. So I had a lot of like colorful tights that I collected through, you know, dance recitals and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And so I had some pretty wild looking colors back in the 80s, you know, the mm-hmm. neon colors. I think one of my favorite ones, I remember I had a leotard that had these real pretty shimmering, like, it was like an aqua color. But I had to Oh my god, if I have five dance recital stuff, I will mm-hmm. send it over to you. Mm-hmm. I know of one. Uh, and I'll send you that picture. <laughs>
Thanks for watching X Marks the Spot, a show that shines the light on the generation that no one talks about. Your host, Breeze Aubrey, and Devon Moore have more stuff to talk about in their podcast. And maybe you might get a chance to be on the show if you are a Generation Xer. So come on back to a show where MTV is still king. Big hair is still wild, and the party never ends.